character wouldn't that be super cool like a, a, a clear clear sky spell sort of thing no that's weather control but one that you know removes the fog of war that would be so good it's further south than the daedric ruin i was at before which was which was right here the thing is using only using the the mini map or the map to find a door is not great because even when you walk close to the door it doesn't always um add it looking for a place in Morrowind just how authentic is that that makes sense I am not having trouble watching stream from you is because of the time time difference is a is a problem isn't it oh please be it oh, that looks like a tomb doesn't it Drinith ancestral tomb Continuing. I wish I already knew the spell to control the weather. Leo! Hey, good morning Leo, how are you? You're flaunting your money, are you? Yeah, might as well. Straight south? Oh! Okay. Thank you, Prof. It's not that it's not fun to look for a, a needle in a haystack but you know to have a general direction or very precise direction in that case is very good how you doing leo i, I yes I, I did i did see you how is the new year treating you you say south of here just a little bit to the west uh, to the east i read that properly just just a hair east so if I go from there, for example, it looks like a dead end. I have so many written notes about how to find things in Morrowind. For a while, I, um, for the longest time actually, I had a, what I did is I took a, an exercise book, but you know the one marked, I'm not sure, I'm West. I always do that. Thank you, Prof. I'll switch around and I would have that exercise book you know with the late the, with the whole alphabet and then I would write down my quest by location so things to do in Balmora I would write it on the B and so on and so forth that way it was it was easier to navigate things and I so Neb good morning Neb happy new year I'm, I'm sure I haven't talked to you how's life how is the new year treating you I know, probably not that much has happened, but still. Good, you're dead. So we said east, not west, obviously. Alphabetical. That's the best way, isn't it? Um, uh, New Year is pretty good so far. Very chill and cozy. I like the sound of that. So I should have uh, I should have pushed on a little more. You see, I decided to go back, but then now we have good weather. Come on. Could it be Could it be at the end of this path? I would really really like that. Let's continue on the path. Uh, also, you are one of the few people who remembered my birthday. Well, but you know I cheated because uh, I asked on. Please be it. I asked on the Discord, and so the people who gave me a date, that's when I wish them a happy birthday. Sometimes a little late, but typically. Level 95? Are you kidding me? All this effort to get to a door that I probably cannot open. I have a 50. Do I have a scroll, maybe? I have a 40 to 60. Oh crap. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to mark the spell and um, Sorry, mark the place go back to start with Mora Get my stuff from the evidence chest pay to get a better open spell and hope that I can cast it um, Neb, let me catch up. You were saying you were saying oh good. You're down to 78.2 kilos now from 103. Wow. I mean, that's That's lightning fast. I I was inspired to walk more thanks to you But so far I promise you it's the honest truth. We get ready We, we set a foot outside and it starts raining. So we do go for a walk, but it's about 15 minutes. <laughs> which you know is uh, not that much of a walk but at least I can say truthfully yes yes I did go out today but nothing like you walking for I don't remember but walking a lot uh, I'll try I'll try today actually today's lovely blue skies and all so we'll see but that's very impressive indeed all right so I found the place. I just cannot go in there. I don't think I can mark the place just yet. Mr. Angry Ducky, you give me a challenge. Let me mark the place first. <laughs> because so we can get there again. Uh ooh, I only have two marks. Well we don't need the shrine of Azura. So Cora Doer. Okay, that's good. I walk when it rains too, but I agree, it can be very frustrating, especially, well, it's it was not about the mood because we did walk in the rain. It's just that, you know, you, you just need to be dressed properly for the rain and, and we weren't. So actually that day I put my, my pretty little poncho and my cute little beret, which is stylish and all, but not exactly waterproof. <laughs> But you're right, it's it's not even an excuse. It's not even an excuse. But walking for a long time under the rain when you don't have proper clothing for it, then it just seeps through the clothes and, and you feel cold, but you're sweaty. Bad, bad idea. All right, Mr. Ducky, let's have a look at that challenge um, there. And the challenge is sleep in a tomb there for 200 septims. Okay, that's easy. There is a tomb over there. I don't think I need to put the timer for that because it's either I successfully do it or or I die. <laughs> it's not too many scenarios here. Time is not going to be an issue. How goes the Morrowind playthrough? Uh, this one is the, the Harry Potter challenge. So we've, uh, for the Harry Potter challenge, we, we needed to get the Philosopher's Star, which is the Azura Star. And now we are at the point where we need to defeat uh, the creature in the Chamber of Secrets. And that is that unique Daedroth in uh, Corridor. So we, we trekked all the way to Corridor, not realizing it would be locked. So, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're just trudging along. Uh, do you ever fight Almalexia? Moment of truth. I have never completed the tribunal quest line. I didn't. I did go quite far with one of my characters, but then but then it was with my bard and she just wasn't up to the task. And I got lost in Sothisil because I went with the expanded version that makes it gigantic and and yeah. I couldn't do it with my character so but I, I do know I do know that you have to fight her at some point so no spoiler there don't worry um, so that that's fine but I didn't you have cheesed the fight with Almalexia how so you just you just fought her forever to get your skills to max out is that what you mean Come on, die. I'm only using my wand. Oh, I know what I should do. Oh, there we go. You like pain, do you? I guess. I like to talk to, ni to disease Nick's hand when they die. And I say, oh, you like pain, do you? 
All right, now we're gonna have to go in there and sleep in there. I'm guessing, yes, we'll have to clear the place first. Let's uh, regain our stamina before we do that. Uh, the buggy older version of SSC didn't help. True, like it was, because it, um, it was so much to explore and puzzles and things and I didn't put the updated version, which was entirely my own fault. Um, yeah. It was kind of hard. You don't like to kill the tribunal. Well, uh, Vivek, you know what? I don't think I killed Vivek either. I completed the main quest once in my whole life. But at least this one I completed. And I didn't kill Vivek during during that one because, because it was not really with my character. But at some point, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll do something about that. Probably, um, because as you, as you again, no, no spoilers. But as you go further in the game, you realize that it's not all black or white. Like the tribunal, it's not like the tribunal and the temple are the good guys, and Dagothor is the bad guy. Not, not entirely so. It's a bit more subtle than that, and that's what I like about it. Um, chup, 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 chup. You've ordered a special kind of micro sub cable. It's not straight, but rather tightly bent at an angle of 90 degrees. So once that arrives, the streams will be way better because I'll be able to use my power bank and gimbal at the same time. What is a gimbal, Neb? I don't know. It's a camera thing. You know what it is? It's a camera thing. It's a camera thing. Of course you know what it is. I'm the only one who is not educated in the ways of technology. Uh, I'd like to wait till that time up because I could do some shorter one hour 1.5 stream. I saw during the holiday, like I was not online, but I still get the notification and I saw you were making that paper elf. That's um, a tool to stabilize the camera, I see. Uh, yeah, I saw the, the paper elf thing and it looked like something that requires patience and precision. And so I could probably not do that. <laughs> All right, we want to clear the tomb. Hopefully it's not a very deadly one because I haven't summoned my uh, OP Derzog. Uh, You're quite slow, Scampy. That suits me just fine. There we go. That was quite pathetic. I will kill you. Blech. I like that. Next one. We can do that. I Did I install realistic repairs? I did not. Now that, repairing my stuff in the middle of a dungeon is something that I cannot do in permadeath. So it feels nice. It feels like cheating right now, actually. Yes, short blade. Okay, and we're ready to level up. I guess we'll level up when we've cleared the place. That's what we'll do. Was it a Christmas elf or a cheesecake elf? Lineage. So neither. I did not recognize the type of elf. I, I'll be honest. Ooh. That's what I want. I need to be further enough away from them that the cast on swing triggers like so. Let's just empty the charges while I can. Oh, you like pain. She likes to say that. Don't don't judge her. Yeah. Back to my wand. I think it's been 10 minutes, so if it were a permadeath, I would probably have failed that challenge. Because I have 10 minutes to complete them. Standard potion of shadows, yeah sure, why not? That could be useful. Now. 
I need to remember that the spell has a five second effect. Yeah. So I don't need to spam cast it. In fact, it's rather, rather wasteful. I don't need the skin. I'm good. Thank you. Got enough skin. I'll make do. Cheesecake. I'm hungry. <laughs> Guys, let's do something about this. Have a sip of cappuccino. That's what. That's what. Cast, retreat, three, four, five. Cast again. Two, three, four, five. Boom. Boots. I don't remember how my traps are on this setup. I'm kind of hoping that they're not hidden so I'm not gonna kill myself. Um, I have to ask, with a bard mode, how long does it take to get the inn and what do you have to do to get it? To get the inn you have to get famous. To get famous you have to perform in other inns and I think, not 200% sure, I think you need to have performed 30 times. So you need to you need to have gathered quite a reputation. And once you've performed 30 times, when you enter any of the inns in the game, there's gonna be there's gonna be a, a dumbna that appears next to you. So yeah. I want to have a look at the elf. Let me let me have a look. Where's my mouse? There it is. Thank you. Oh wow. No wait, that that's that's the model that you're doing. That's not the actual elf that you made in paper, is it? Oh yes it is. Oh wow. Cause I, I see that's that's fake but no. How what? <laughs> Neb the staff, did you make the staff as well? The staff also, it's, I mean, very impressive. I wish I could zoom in on the, there we go. Oh wow, the detail, that's, cr that's crazy. It's paper and cardboard, <laughs> totally cheesecake. It's really how long did it take you? Like the bits I saw you were you were doing the arm and I was I was already very impressed with the you know the, the volume and how you could give it the shape and everything. It's very very impressive. There's more you say. I'm just clicking on the links, please don't don't put anything disgusting there. Oh my goodness, the tiny pieces of paper you had to use for that. It's very impressive. Well, because it's all the papers, no, that's uh, it's very, very impressive indeed. You haven't made paper models in 18 years, so that's something you did before. I, <laughs> the closest I've done is you had that paper doll, so flat, and you would cut out the clothes and, and you would just, you know, um, fold the flaps so the clothes would hang on the paper doll. That's all, that's all I did. I used to like that. Still, I mean, that's very cool. How long did it take to make the model? Up. Oh. Oh wow, now it's so dark in here. It looks like I'm somewhat good at sneaking. And I don't think I should be. Sneak 16. 
I think those those scabs are just retarded. Sorry, scabs, that's the truth. It took about, uh, paper dolls were very popular here. Okay, and it took about 30 hours. I think it looks very cool, I'm very impressed. But if you think you can do better, then please do and then show us so we can see what better looks like. Uh-oh. And all of a sudden we have the music. This one is harder to kill. <gasps> I am dying. I am so not paying attention to my health because I feel like I'm so OP. Uh, Will power no health? Yes. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's try to think about it. <laughs> You're right, Skink. I was really not paying attention. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Um. Do I have something instant that I can cast in an instant and it's going to save my life? No, these are dangerous. Because I'm stuck behind the door. Okay, alright. I have more. I do have a restriction on how often I can drink, so I really ought to be careful about that. I do need to get better spells. Like, now. Oh. Well, thank you, Goblin. You're too late. I'll take your heart and I'll wait for my stamina to come back. <sighs> We're good. Uro7, hello. Lovely to see you. Are you going to play all the franchise? Uh, Tiger Horn, I have played all of it. Not all of it on stream. Uh, we've done we've done some arena, we've done some Daggerfall. I have to do a new Daggerfall Unity install, I think. Uh, you know, the release is very stable now and there's so many good mods. Uh, we do mostly Morrowind, I won't lie to you, it's mostly Morrowind, but we play Oblivion as well and then we've done Skyrim, occasionally Elder Scrolls Online, even. But it's mostly Morrowind, I won't lie to you. Okay. Do you think I've cleared the place now? Because my challenge was to sleep in the tomb. I want to see Patrick Stewart stream Skyrim and complain he isn't, isn't, isn't in this one. <laughs> yes, I mean, I, I'm happy to see Patrick Stewart stream anything, to be perfectly honest. We don't want any of that. Okay, let's try to rest. Yes. challenge completed um and uh battle spire yes we did i do like battle spire i have to go back to that and the harry potter challenge thank you so much prof that's the one essentially we're playing as a slytherin kid so we use frost and poison we wear green basically and um, we have acquired the Azura Star, which is the equivalent of the Philosopher's Stone. And the next thing we want to do is find the Chamber of Secrets and destroy the creature in it, which is a unique Daedroth in Morrowind. That's the next thing we need to do. So we have a series of goals that follow as closely as possible. Obviously, it's not the same, but follow as closely as possible um, Harry Potter. 
I'm gonna give myself some willpower and some strength and some endurance because we're so squishy. And I'm very thirsty now, which is uh, not great. In fact, I really should just um, remove the, the thirst. Because we don't really need that, honestly. Not with this, uh, not with this challenge. No, not even theirs, thank you. All right, I have marked the entrance to corridor, which was the, the important thing. Um, I believe we should be able to do a divine intervention that should take us to Sadres. Never heard of rules like that. Yeah, um, it's a... Uh, you know when you've played the game a lot, uh, especially when you tend to do you tend to do the same sort of characters. I like I like thinking of specific rules and specific goals for each character. That way, uh oh, that doesn't look like Sadris. <laughs> Buck moth. That's really not where I wanted to go, but that's all right. Uh, the Major's Guild in Aldrin is not too far, so let's do that. Uh, even with uh, the permadeath uh, challenge, um, we for each character we have different rules, so it's never quite the same. We, they all die, so that is always the same. <laughs> Other than that, no. Hang on, this this way. Why, why the weather again? Why? Um, just wait until they ruin Picard in the Picard series. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. Um, there's the film as well, isn't there, that I want to see? We'll see. I do I do like Picard. What can I say? I mean, Patrick Stewart as Picard. And Professor, Professor X as well. So you are only doing Thursdays, Saturdays and Sunday, actually. Um... I need to re-enable Saturday because I, I got back home uh, in London last week Friday evening so I didn't re-enable the Saturday but Saturday as well. We'll see. Well they've kind of ruined a lot of other franchises lately. It's true it's uh, but I, I do think it's inevitable because rather than come up with some new content whether it is for, you know, films, series, games, books to some extent, but rather than, than come up with new content and think of new ideas, it's a lot, probably cheaper, uh, to just restore health. I'm looking for a restore fatigue. There we go. It's cheaper to, uh, uh, you make more profit you know, with the sequel, the reboot, and and the forks and everything. Because you know you have a guaranteed public. But then obviously the, the more uh, reboot and sequel, prequel, the more likely you are to mess it up at some point. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bishop! Came into the stream to this glorious inventory and menu screen, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, this one is um, Jiffy's U Jiffy UI. It's on the Nexus and it's my favorite. It's my favorite because it's so close to vanilla but sharper. I also like the chocolate UI. It's also a nice one. But this is my favorite and now I always use it for every install. <sighs> but it's not vanilla, it's it's inspired, it's close to Sovest Gatherin Leon. Hello, good morning, is it? Afternoon? I'm not sure, but hello. I, I'm gonna stick to hello. Yeah, and that public will hate your guts soon. Obviously they take a, a serious chance every time. It's a shame. And even films, they just, they just go, all right, let's find a series of books that is reasonably successful, but not necessarily very well known. So we don't have to pay too much for the rights to adapt it. 
um, there has to be at least three books so we can make five movies out of it. So it's good for, I mean, it's good for authors. I'm really happy about that because as, a, as an author, I don't think you make that much money considering the, where is, oh, there's Alvin, considering the, the time and the work to, to write a book. I don't think that writers make that much money. So the fact that now the cinema and TV and even the game industry is really, really looking for uh, stories or universes, it's good for writers. They shove too much money into their project and then get too shy to do anything impressive. Well, it depends, like if you take if you take uh, a film like, uh, what was it? The Golden Compass, based on uh, his dark material. They they like, they put a lot of money with, with well-known actors. The production itself, the quality of the production was good. I, I actually did enjoy that one. And the movie was not successful. Especially because it was so expensive and they didn't make any money. So it's not necessarily that they don't give themselves the, the means to, to make a good movie, but sometimes it doesn't work. Like the Witcher guy, I guess he sold his right to a really small sum and now he's upset. I would assume as much because um, uh, it's a Polish author and I don't think he was translated in English immediately. So the first Witcher game, but that helped as well. I, I think it was more... Maybe he didn't sell the rights for a lot of money. I have no idea. I I'm guessing that the, the rights to make a game based on his Witcher book was nothing compared to the rights HBO had to pay for Game of Thrones, for example. But still. Uh, but the games were really popular. And that means that now all the books in the series are being translated. It means that when he writes a new book in Polish, there's more people you know, eager to have it translated and published. So I think he benefits from it still, even though he probably could have made more money uh, selling the rights. Hopefully, you know, he sold the rights, like not, here's do anything you want with the Witcher world. Um, hopefully that's not the way it is. Um, the, the author that must be so, 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 disappointing is the one who did the Aragorn series. What's his name? Paulino? Forgot the name. But you, you see the Aragorn series? There's possibly five books and they made a movie and the movie was absolutely rubbish and that did a disservice I think to the book. And I'm guessing the, the author sold the rights without having uh, the right to intervene and to um, to say, no, that part of the movie is not good, it's not true to the book, I don't like it, change it. He probably didn't have any say in the movie. That's my guess, but I don't know. He's working with them for the new series though, which is good, which is, ooh, it's very dark now, because it's late. So we have a bit of blind because it's the evening and the lights have been dimmed out. Did I take the stuff? I took the stuff, unfortunately. I just want to go back to Sadrath. That's that's all I want to do. But I do like the fact that uh, writers have now more venues and more more potential resources other than just their book. So that that is a good thing for them, I think. Of course, the Gill Guide is not her. The Gill Guide is wandering around, and now I have to look for her. Living Cities of Ardenfell. Love the mod, but it's so frustrating when you, you go to an NPC only to find out that the NPC is not there. Okay, sometimes she hangs out. No. You piqued my interest. No. Once. No. And of course the dim light doesn't help. Oh, do you have a quest for me? Oh, you want me to go to her place? Yes, Margan. Maybe I can sell some things to you. It's just that I've been running around. It's not like I've, yeah, there we go. 
fortune fortune made done i'm looking at the scrolls but i don't see hello frost guard i see the games were set after the books it was like an expansion a Ragon book make a disservice to the book. Oh, skink, that's harsh. I, I enjoyed, okay, I particularly enjoyed the first one yeah. because because the whole thing about finding a dragon egg and, and raising a dragon, uh, that, that mm, spoke to me a think. lot. It's something I had um, imagined uh, before, so, so I like that. I did find that the series were sort of dragging on, dragging on, dragging on, but I read the whole thing and enjoyed it. That's the one. Oh, she was right there by the door. But still, I do still think that the film was way worse than the book, no matter how much you like the book or not. All right. Skink. Yes, she did. Okay, you could promote me for a job well done. I have not completed enough duties. Well, give me more duties. It's that simple. I'm looking for a rare book, Vampires of Vardenfell. The first one or the second one? There are two books. The first is Common and Morrowind. Na -na -na. The second is very rare. <sighs> it's... What? Skink is the one who asked for Vampires of Vardenfell? I thought it was Edwina. Oh no, Edwina wants Chronicles of Nishleft. My bad, my bad. Okay. All right, I'll find you your book. Um, and then the egg hatch, and you realize that dragon could suck. <laughs> no, I, 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 I did like it. I did like it. Maybe it would be, it would be worth reading it again to you know to put a bit of distance and um, and see like pay more attention to the writing um how do you make a dragon be dull i don't know maybe maybe that's the skill um you were talking about the witcher books yes i, I did realize that was the it was the witcher books and then the story goes on in the game right so no i don't have it yet i thought maybe you would Tell me where to find it or something. So I've done that. Let's see if we can uh, get our soul gems back. Uh, Mage's Guild up there is the Fighter's Guild, and that's where the chest is. I yeah, know, Wolverine Hall. Damn it. You know, Wolverine Hall is always annoying to navigate to say the least and then there's a couple of mods that make it better there's uh, one by Tizzo and the other one is it Mort? maybe I'm not sure and so whatever whatever I remember of the layout I'm then quite confused that's the shrine and fighters guild is below that I'm, I'm quite confused and then with the other mod basically I didn't learn the layout of the new mod and then the next mod and now I'm even more lost than I ever was anyway this right here is what I want now that's the fighters guild chest on the other side isn't that this is the only one this is so good it's hidden from sight um, what level is this? 50. Perfect. I'm gonna wait for my stamina to come back and then I'm gonna get my stolen, st it was not even stolen, my confiscated stuff back. Um, chip chip chip, where was I? Pain in the ass, indeed, indeed. Um, as if I mean, obviously, the, the more books you read, especially with fantasy and science fiction, and you, you do get themes that come back uh, honestly but yeah nothing is truly original just you know I, I do agree that nothing is completely truly original there's there's always some elements i mean just fantasy you're gonna have elves and they're going to typically be very good at magic that's it now who first came up with that 
I don't know, but you, you do find you do find things that are borrowed everywhere, but it has to be done well and it has to be done uh, cleverly and it has to bring something new. That's the thing. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Why on earth did the guard decide that I had stolen those? Oh, did I steal them from... Uh... It is possible that I stole them from Galvedere, but nobody saw me, so... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I got them. Elves, dwarves, dragons, whatever. It's not about that. But that's the, that the story is cool. Probably. No Azura Star. I must have put it in the scorn. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I got these back. We can further improve. Recharge. You. With you. Up. 359. There we go. Alright. And also, I need to get... That's the one thing. Oh, hello. You look pretty good look at that with um that looks who are you you're one of the companions well anyway the the armor looks interesting with a bit of that's from the ordinator okay. set from the imperial legion set happy death queen thank you so much for the follow that looks pretty good i like that and Connery's textures are really nice. <laughs> so funny. Back to the Mages Guild. Get an open 95 at least. The elves come from the Vanir in the North Meet. I mean, even if you take uh, the Lord of the Rings, which is, for many people, it's like the reference when it comes to fantasy and you find elements of the Lord of the Rings in other books even the Lord of the Rings was not truly original a lot of it comes from uh, Norse mythology even some of the words that's not the way I want to go up even a lot of the words uh, come from uh, from Norse languages if you what was the example for um, shadow facts I mean shadow is the English shadow and facts is the main in um, in Norse one of the I don't remember which one. So even even books that many would consider those that are ripped the most, even those had to take their inspiration. I mean, basically, Norse mythology, Greek mythology, Bible, you find elements of these three books in so, so many books. And you don't always see it, obviously. I once had a friend complain about D&D &D because everyone knows elves are taller than humans. It's a fact. It's a, I mean, that's not true. If you play Elder Scrolls, you know, Bosmos are pretty darn short. In D&D, in I believe they are. No, not you. Hey. You do alchemy only. You're just a mage. You have no services. Skink, I'm guessing you're not gonna make spells for me. And you please make spells for me. Good. I need a really good open um at least ninety-five. But you know, let's try to make it spell chain sixty-five. Let's make that to a hundred. Let's go between 70, I mean, let's go with that. And this is an open 70, oh, numbers don't work there, open 70 to 100. Good. While I'm here, I should really try to make a more powerful spell. No, I don't want to buy it. I mean... No, I don't want to buy spells, but 
can I make a more powerful frost, for example, on target? Right now, this is what I have. This is good. Uh, spell chance is 95, and that's if I have only half of my stamina. This would still end up as a 100% chance to cast, I think. That's better. 10 points for 5 seconds. That should be 50 points of frost damage. Hopefully harder to resist. We'll see. Um, pretty sure elves are generally slimmer and shorter than humans. And then they still kick your ass. Slimmer? Definitely. Definitely. Not, not so sturdy in their build. But then... Uh, the Salmor in Skyrim keep saying how superior they are as they burn to ashes into the ground. Yes, but then again, I feel those Thalmors, they, they are, what's the word? Persecuted. Yes. People see Thalmors on the road and they go, let's kill them. Whereas if they see anyone else, they just go, hi. But Thalmors, like they're targeted, it's so unfair. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. I'm just saying they're... They are a prime target for many people. The spellmaker assumes that you're at 50% fatigue. Yeah, exactly. So even with that, I think I would have a good 100% still. Let's see if we crank it to 15. That's still pretty good. And that's pretty good too. Let's go with that. Frost 20 for 5 seconds. Let's go with that. Ninety five percent. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bandit life, pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. I don't like you, you're a heretic. Also, I know they're a prime target for vampires. Probably because uh, vampire players feel like they're, they're doing a, it's a two-in-one. They're ridding the world of Thalmors and feeding themselves, double win sort of thing. I love elves as a general rule and take offenses to the Thalmor. I, I've said that. I wish the Thalmor were more developed. Like, why, why do the Altmers feel they are so superior? And we know it's because it's probably it's the one of the races that is closest to the original elves. But you know, I wish I wish they were not depicted as as that plain, arrogant, evil, unfair race, really. But anyway, this is good. Uh, I don't want to wear that. I'm happy to have my water walking all the time. That's very useful. I don't have to worry about water. And now I have this. It's going to be hard to cast it, but we'll do what we can. Um, I need a bed. <coughs> but I'm not going to find one here. So it's 11. Let's make it 12 hours. So hopefully I can cast Recall and go back to Corridor. Grey D-Book. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. All right. Please let me recall. I can recall to Corridor. And please let me recall again so I can have my War Durzog with me. Oh yes, oh yes, it, it's small but so so strong. Um, yeah, but not all High Elves are Thalmor. I, I, I do agree, I do agree. Um, it's just that with Skyrim and how popular it is, people just make such a strong association with Thalmors and High Elves, which they are, obviously. Uh, great, oh you found the stream through Super Mario's host. There you go, and people say that hosting, you know, doesn't do anything. Now they're proven wrong. Okay, Corridor, here we go. 
I have no idea what to expect on the other side. Hopefully my buffed up frost spell is gonna... Well, it's gonna help us. Just like that. In we go. Water Zog, please be ready. Okay, what do we have? It's a bit dark. I mean, I'm sneaking, mostly because I don't want to move too quickly. And we've got, uh uh, that. Dremoras have resist fire, some of them have reflect. Uh, not Dremora, Daedra in general. Hopefully I'm not gonna get my spell reflected at me because it would kill me. <laughs> Plain and simple, it would kill me immediately. Um, Altmer and Nord share the proud, holier-than-thou attitude if you look at their leaders. True, true. But at least the Nords, at least in Skyrim, they, they think of themselves as the natural superior race of Skyrim. Skyrim belongs to them. It's it's there. It's theirs. Whereas the Altmers feel, you know, they they invaded uh, Cyrodiil. Now they're they are meddling with Skyrim. They, you know, it's greater scale. It's like the world is ours, and we're the superior race in it. Uh, but you're right. The the Nord in Skyrim, I I don't like when I have to choose, and I typically don't when I have to choose between joining the empire and i go you know empire you, you were weak you just bow down to the thalmors and i will let them do whatever they want yeah not so keen on them and then and then joining the what are they called black cloak what are their name i mean you know joining uh, the nord they're racist they're i don't like them so i i just don't storm cloak i don't like choosing between them Stonecloaks are helping the Thalmors. Nah, I, I don't like either. I don't like either. Okay. So in here, this is, for all intent and purposes, this is our Chamber of Secrets. I still don't know what to expect in here, apart from a Daedroth. So we'll go nice and slow and try to keep our eyes open. Not scared. Not scared. But very hungry. <laughs> it's starting to be a problem. So there's this path here. But I see lights there. I can water walk. I'm not sure I can walk back up though. Uh, choosing between the Empire and Ulfric sucks, right? It it really does suck. I end up not joining any of them. Especially when, you know, after that you have the, the battles for the forts and things. And they're a bit underwhelming. I mean, there's, there's lots of people moving around and they're fighting. But let's be honest, if you don't do much, you're gonna win anyway. Unless you mod it, obviously, then uh, then it's a whole new thing. Uh, when you're in the cart at the start, the Thalmor are trying to save Ulfric, but that's to keep the war going. Strategy, politics, yeah? Because anything that weakens the Empire is good for them. Okay, we are approaching a, a larger room, it seems. It really makes me nervous when there's no enemies at all. You go, something very, very bad is going to happen and I won't see it coming. Hopefully I won't have to swim. We'll see. I just do it to stop the war from affecting trade. <laughs> Practical, very pragmatic, I see. I am gonna have to swim. Maybe I can just walk on the water. Okay. No, I cannot. And that brings me back to where I was, doesn't it? I think it does, so I've missed something. I might have to go in the water there. 
let's go back. I'll be looking for now. No problem, Talia. It was lovely to see you. The baby woke up. Yes, baby more important than stream for sure, for sure. Uh, Mother Christ, you say, I also feel a little sad that the Thieves Guild are the only people trying to bring the economy back. Yes, um, it's. I think I think the whole Skyrim world needs to be rebalanced, readjusted. A lot of things are just meh. Okay, can I? I'll have to take off my amulet. It's a shame. I do like not getting um, soaked every time I get close to water. But let's switch from a water walking amulet to 45 health. Brilliant. And now we see even less. Ooh, and I can't breathe. Can I breathe? I think I had. There we go. Breathe water. I am always so, like, I don't like being underwater, especially when it's hard to see anything. Also, I feel, now I've read that, you have to fly to reach the Daedroth. Ah, I'm gonna have to look up. Well, I'm gonna finish exploring this, I think. I might have to just increase the, the lighting. Oh, hang on. I do have, though, I think light underwater is not great, but... Especially when I just cannot cast a spell. Anyway, we're walking out. <sighs> okay. And that's the part we have not explored yet. And there's lights here. So it probably is where I need to go, but I'll check the parts that look less promising first. You know what? Let's walk on the water again. So I don't have to navigate all that. Ah, uh, yeah, much better. Yes, so much better. Um, da -da 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 -da. Skyrim is pretty much set during Ragnarok. Would you say it's set during Ragnarok? I mean, as in it's the end of the world with the dragons that are supposedly an impending doom, but it doesn't really feel that way. I mean, occasionally there's a couple of dry there's a dragon that flies above a city but other than that I never felt I never felt like oh my god I have to I have to sort this dragon issue because because it's gonna be the end of Skyrim as we know it you know there were dragons before and and the dragon priest and and they were very important and they control things but it was not the end of the world I don't think and then the war, it's, that's not Ragnarok stuff, that's just uh, men and mer being uh, being men and mer, I would say. Night Eye isn't bad in Morrowind, you don't lose color like in Oblivion. It is better indeed. I don't think, oh, sure, I think that might be, that might be what we're looking for. Oh crap, and I have no fatigue. Restore health. But I have no stamina, crap. Crap. So really glad I found a Daedroth, or at least a Daedroth. I'm just not ready for it. Everyone is at war with everyone. Dragons are causing trouble. Alduin invades the afterlife. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's Ragnarok. Ragnarok is really the end of the world and even the end, the death of the gods. So it's not as bad. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's not as bad. So, you know, messing up with alt afterlife, that sucks, especially for the Nords. Well, I don't know this one. Flimble's Winter, I don't know that term. Where does it come from? It sounds Norse as well. How do I, I mean, sure, I can use a little bit of that. Or not. Is it actually stuck behind? Oh no, it's here. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I do have the autosave, so it's not so bad. Oh, you're there. 
No, don't kill me. I was not ready for that idiot. Okay. Yes, I do want Dio to say thank you. I think that's before I rested. It's not so bad. No, no way. The auto save is before I got killed. Onion. Hello, Onion. And thank you so much for subbing again for practically two years. Happy New Year, Onion, by the way. How are you doing? Oh, yes, we get to play card. All right, Prof, do it. Win it. You're going to win it again. Yeah, that's not good for me. That's not good for me. Um, where's my Durzog? I've lost my Durzog too. That's really bad. Because I was uh, more than counting on the Durzog to take care of things for me. Too many musics happening. <laughs> We're all doing very, very badly. Sorry, Orbital. Dead. Ah, uh, there's two of them, so that's probably not the one I want. It's a uh, skin kit's the scout, I think. All right, at least I know where I am. Not entirely sure that I need to go back to the same place. Uh, I'll see if I can levitate to some other place. I really really need to watch my fatigue well yes <laughs> what is that orbital it's like Dana is trying to be too cool and uh, and she doesn't know how <laughs> where are these septims of which you speak well onions you, you, you don't have them septims I guess you donated all of them away and and you know what onion I'm not sure that you have that many septims uh, now. I know you donated them away. Uh-uh. Okay, g go ahead. Give us the exclamation mark septims. So, so we'll see. We'll know for sure. Because the bot doesn't lie. But you know what? We've changed. Try it, Onion. Try it. It might be 30k still. But it might not be. In which case, you, you can donate it all over again. It's still, you know, that's the, you know, the way I came. It's still decent money. But look at that, even Skink is richer than you. <laughs> all right. So, we need to go this path and then swim for a bit. Drake's is not a thing anymore. It was, uh, and gold is not a thing. No, that's it. That's it. I mean, Drake's is the, the Twitch currency, isn't it? Which is completely separate. Come on. E jump. Well done. All right, now we swim. So we take this off. Wait for my fatigue to come back. Shrimp. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't take the septims away. Why would I do that? 
You don't steal money that doesn't exist. Where was my ball of light? Was it globe of light? Ah, then. Okay, when I come out of the water, I just need to be careful to not go too... When I come out of the water, I think that's the tunnel. I need to be careful to not go too far away. It's time for you to go to work. I mean, it's almost time for me to... Crap, I'm dying. <laughs> it's almost time for me to finish. Have a good day, Prof, and uh, hope to see you sometimes this weekend. Don't I have a... No, I have to cast a spell. Which should be okay. Um, what was it called? Breathe water. Yeah, that's very stupid that I get injured for drinking a little bit of water. That's basically what happens. What else do I drop? Not Theranos clothes. That would be that would be madness. I'm keeping the hearts. I know it's the one thing that's really heavier amongst my items, but I can drop that. There we go. Hey Snoozy, you love this stream. Well, I love hearing that. Um, let's not drink too much water. And when I get out of there, if I ever find a way out, there it is. I need to remember to not go too far so I don't... Yeah. I don't have to... Oh, 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 there is one. Okay. There is one. Let's be on the water so I don't have to worry about other things. I'm not casting anything. I just want to... I see. I need to have space above my head. All right. Don't see me. Don't see me. Crix, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. It is a compliment. I, I, I definitely take that as a compliment. You, you remind me of Scaring Grandma, except for Morrowind. I take it as a compliment. Not a grandmother yet, but hey. Come on, stamina. Do this. This looks like a regular day job, because I think, yeah, it is a regular one. <sighs> so that's not the one we need to kill. That's a tiny one. Yes, um, I forgot the name. Uh, Shirley. Shirley, that's the name. Hello, you found your YouTube channel yesterday, so now you're here. I'm glad you find your way. Uh, welcome on in. All right. Now let's save. Oh, shit. I mean, you know what? As long as it's in the water, go ahead, waste your magicka. Do it. Waste your magicka while you're in the water. No, 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 don't, don't stay close. I think even though I'm a whoopin level 6, fighting Daedros in the water is not a good idea. And the problem is I can't... I mean, I'm just like the Daedros. As long as I am in the water, I can't cast my spells. Uh, except when the Daedros is out of Magicka. Yeah, whoopin level 6. <laughs> When uh, when the Daedroth is out of Magicka, it comes to me, it goes froom, and I go ugh. Whereas I can't quite do the same. There's the thing. There's the thing. So if I could just re-equip this. 
plan B. Um, I know it's going to be really tight to maneuver, but I'm going to climb on my broomstick. And since that's not the day draft I'm interested in, get the fuck out. Got me with a poison. Poison I can deal with. I think I'm not ready for these guys. No, not you. Basically hiding. And healing. Playing hide and seek with the Daedros. That's how desperate we are. Okay, I'm gonna make a different save. See how they react to my frost spell. If I can... to kill myself with my own frost spell so corridor frost question mark the answer might be a no but uh, but I'm like you skink I definitely need to get some food as well